Something always brings me back to you It never takes too long Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is my dog Jojo. Oh, bye Jojo. Hi guys, I wanted to come to you today and just film a quick video for you. This is different than any of the videos I've done so far. My hair's a little bit of a mess. That's okay. But I wanted to film an empties video for you. I had a collection of some things that were just sitting around and I said to myself, why am I even collecting these things? I'm not doing YouTube videos. Why do I just have my trash hanging around? And so now that I'm filming videos, I still have the same trash laying around that I never threw away, and I've added some things to it, so I just wanted to go ahead and um, film a quick empties video for you. So I'll just do what um, I've seen a lot of people do, and they just go through their trash, basically, and say whether um, they would repurchase or not repurchase, or whether it was a holy grail, just something staple for them, or whether it was just a makeup product that they used up and wh whether they would or wouldn't repurchase the product. So I'm just going to go through that for you. I have my stuff right here and it's overflowing. So I'll just go ahead and start going through the stuff for you. The first thing I have is this Garnier Clean Plus Blackhead Eliminating Scrub. And this is, it's okay, it's good. I like the scent of it, but not really anything special you know, when it comes to a scrub or anything like that. So, would I repurchase it? Sure. Does it have to be this specific one? No. So, um, the next thing I have is the Jergens Natural Glow um, Firming Daily Moisturizer. This is the one that gives you a little bit of color over a little bit of time. They've got the little scale thing on the back. I'm sure you all have seen this at some point. But, I've not really noticed any good consistent results with um, a product like this. The only thing I do notice is that it gets um, into your cracks of your hands and things like that and it's just really annoying. It's like a self tanner so um, I like it. It's okay but I don't necessarily want to run right out and get another one of these. Um, the next thing is just my um, Revital lens that I use for my contact lenses. This is the travel size. I use it here and in the car as well. A lot of times I use this in the, in the car at work just in case I need to clean my contact lenses. The next thing I have is the Formula X top coat and this product you can see it here and it actually does move but it moves very very slowly so if I held it here you would see it, it does drip but very very slow. I've not tried to put any acetone or anything in this I'm just, it, it's a little too high maintenance for me. So I've used a lot of it. It's probably, it was probably down to here. I used a lot of it, but probably too expensive to waste that much product. So I would probably stick with Sage Beat, which usually does the same thing as this. Right now I'm using a Revlon one and I'm really enjoying it. So um, I probably wouldn't repurchase this. The next thing is a Jergens BB Body lotion. This is supposedly like a BB cream for your body. It's supposed to improve the appearance of your skin, blur lines, firm skin. I don't notice any of that stuff, but maybe I just don't pay close enough attention. So it's okay. It's a nice smelling lotion. It's lotion. So I wouldn't run right out and particularly purchase that one. I would probably get it again, but it's, oh, that's the other thing. It's very expensive. I don't know why I had to pick that back up again, but it's very expensive. That's why I have this size, and actually this is in my Finish 13 by um, 13, not this particular one, but I bought like five or six of these because five or six of these is the equivalent of one, and it was cheaper than one. I think these were like a dollar a piece, probably on sale or something, but I figured it was better to go that route than to pay $12 for a freaking body cream. So The next thing is a ride or die. This is holy grail for me. This was something that I just tried. It's the Dove Dry Spray. This is in the cucumber scent. This is deodorant. I have a couple of stick deodorants left that I've kind of pushed to the side because I used this and I bought another one of these so I'm on to another one of these but I probably will never use anything but this again except for the ones that I have that I need to finish up so I love this. Um, the next thing I have is a 
an overpriced item. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Makeup Extender Setting Spray. It's good, and if you want to compare it to the cost of Urban Decay or Kat Von D or something like that, it's a good drugstore drug store alternative. However, there are two, the e.l.f. Um, setting spray, misting setting spray, and also the hard candy, um, Fast and Fabulous, I believe it's called. Excellent, excellent. And I think the e.l.f. one is $3, and the hard candy one is six and this is 13 so I would go with those two the hard candy one reminds me so much of the Kat Von D one smell and everything and the Kat Von D is like my jam so um, that's what I'm using right now is the hard candy one um, the next thing oh this is a ride or die like end all to beat all product for me but it's expensive and I'm going through a lot more things before I repurchase this again but this is the Arbonne um, FC5 oil absorbing day lotion I love this stuff but this bottle 1.7 fluid ounces is $50 it lasts me probably two months so that's not too bad I guess but I wanted to get through some stuff before I spent $50 again. You have to um, find somebody who sells Arbonne. I think you could probably go to their website, but this isn't um, anywhere in stores. This is online and through a um, Arbonne seller, I guess. So I um, sold Arbonne for a little while and then I got out of it. So I've got a couple of people that I can go back to and uh, purchase this from, but I can I can just get online and purchase it myself. I've got some swatches here because I was filming some other video. Oh, I've got a couple of um, samples here. Um, uh, one of the first things I used up was a Urban Decay um, primer potion. Um, love this. This is something I've used many times in the past and um, I've got a lot of eye primers right now so I just wanted to use this up real quick. Things like this are really good to take on trips if you're going somewhere but you should take a couple because if it gets open and dries you know you, you still have some product on here. So The next thing, the thing that really surprised me is this naked Urban Decay flushed uh, little thing. They have these palettes that are highlighter, bronzer, and blush, and they look like this. And this is actually with the product gone. It was it's darker than this, but rub your brush on um, these things here, and you get product onto the brush. And I was very impressed, very impressed with how this worked and performed on my face. You wouldn't know that it came off of a card. I have this product. I have not used it since I purchased it, so I wanted to actually try it out in this and see if I liked it, and I love it. So I can't wait to um, break, break this out and use it sometime. Of uh, the actual one. Um, the next thing is something that I purchased immediately because I really enjoyed these samples. It was something that I had wanted to try, and I actually got a 100-point perk from Sephora as well, so I've been going through that before I even touch my full, full product. But this is the Benefit puff off what do they call this like an under eye instant eye gel to help smooth the look of puffies and again it's just another one of these things and I love it it's got a little bit of a uh, light 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 salmon color to it so it really brightens up underneath the eyes I'm sorry if this lighting is getting a little weird anyways I really enjoyed this and I can't wait to move on to the real product it's actually got like a little iron on the actual applicator so it might actually be even better with the applicator that'll be really cooling because it's metal uh, let me get let me get in here and see what I got uh, I got some stuff okay I used up a, a little uh, glam glow this was before I did my project use it up I did this mask before because I have the mask of Magnum Minty from Lush in my project use it up right now so this was just I I don't know there's a lot of hype around this product I don't see it. Maybe I need to use it more than once, and this was only like one application. So, this was a hundred point perk from Sephora. This is the uh, Corez Anti Aging Primer. This is the Quercetin and Oak Face Primer. I don't know. Um, again, nothing special, at least not to me. Just an eye primer. 
Um, this was something I really wanted to try for a long time. This was the Bosha Makeup Breakup Cleanser. Um, this was $10, I think. I bought this because I think I needed a little bit more to get free shipping. I really enjoyed this. Again, another product that was, like, hyped, and I didn't really get it. It's not really cool. It really didn't make my skin feel cool or tingly or anything like that so I didn't I didn't really get it I know it's blondie really raved about this and that's who really made me want this and I don't even know if she really likes it anymore I haven't seen her use it uh speaking of holy grail things that I mentioned earlier is is I actually have an empty of the Kat Von D lock and load sorry if this isn't the greatest lighting um misting setting spray I love this bottle. I, I I don't know if you can see the flowers and stuff. I love this bottle. I think I'm going to put my hard candy spray in here just because I love the bottle. I like it sitting on my vanity, so I'm not getting rid of that. Oh, sorry. Klutzy. This is the Bath & Body Works Wild Madagascar Honey. Wild Madagascar, Wild Madagascar Vanilla, not honey. It smells fantastic. You can see the line there. This was actually supposed to be in my project pan, my first one, and I used it up before I even filmed that video, so. Oh well. But anyways, it's in my empties. I love the scent. I have the body spray. I bought this just to test it out before I bought the body spray, and I loved it. I don't know that they have it anymore. I don't know. I haven't been in there in so long. I had to cut myself off from that store because I have just too much stuff. So I'm not sure if this is a thing anymore. Um, the next thing is something I've gone through a couple of them and I actually just finished this up recently. This is my, it doesn't even have anything on it anymore so I don't even know why I bother to show it but this is the behind the scenes eye primer. It's totally used up. I'm sure there's just a little bit here. I'm not going to cut this open but I love this. I've used it a couple of times. It lasts forever. And right now I'm using up an old Urban Decay one. The next thing I have is a... I couldn't even tell you. I think that this is a Jordana 24-hour eye pencil. I think that's what it's called. And this is in Continuous Almond. And this is like this little nub. See that tip? I can't even get anything out. This is literally like stab you in the eye. So there's product around it, but you can't even get it on your eye. So that's that. And this next thing is, oh, let me see. I think we're all pretty much makeup products from here. Oh, hold on. Nope. A couple of, one more thing. This was um, something I think I got in a um, Ipsy bag or something like that, or a birch box or something a while ago. This is the CRX Birch Sap Moisturizing Lotion. It had a really nice scent. I used this just for a real quick hand cream. Used it up really quick. Um, I don't know sometimes where to purchase some of these products, but I, I don't know. I mean, I've got other more readily accessible eye creams that I could buy. Eye creams? Hand creams. Lotions, this whatever. This is a Dolce and Gabbana Perfect Matte. Sorry if that doesn't ever focus. Perfect Matte Liquid Foundation. Love this. Love, 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 love this. It's, I'm sure, very expensive. I tried to use a spatula and that's about the best I could do. I will not purchase this for a long time, but I will tell you what. I absolutely loved it. It has broad spectrum SPF 20. Love it. This is probably going to stay here to remind myself that I want to purchase that sometime in the future. Um, the next thing I have is this Makeup Forever HD primer. This was hyped up for a while. I think there are some people that still love it. This I got as a 100 point perk or something it took me forever to use it. I ended up breaking it open and you know getting my spatula in there and getting the what I could out just so I could use the rest of it up. Um, the next thing is the Clinique Bottom Lash Mask. I had this hanging on for a little while and I tested it out and it's it's just totally totally dry. It's a $10 mascara. It lasts quite a while. I love it. But I did find some other lower lash mascaras that work really well. I don't know if it was more towards the end or if just in general this really flaked on me. So, if 
but I did love it still. I made I love the way it made my eyelashes look. Um, just three more things here, and they're all makeup, like I said. MAC Zoom Fast Zoom Fast Lash Black. Oh, Zoom Fast Black Lash. Love this. I have a couple more of these. I really gotta break one out. I think in between mascara that I'm using right now and um, the time I break out another one. This is what the one looks like. It's a little bit cone shaped. Yeah, there you go. Love it. Love it. And this sample lasts forever. It's a wet mascara when it first starts and I really, really like that. Um, so I'm going to pull another one out soon. Um, this is the L'Oreal Magic Lumi concealer and this one I believe is in Fair. This one's in Fair. I love it, you know, just the standard highlighting underneath the eyes, which right now I am using the Urban Decay Weightless Full Coverage Concealer, something like that, Weightless Full Coverage Concealer, and I, I really like it. But this is actually, well, no, this isn't even a brightener, but it was so peachy tone and fair that it act as, acts as a brightener, and it is the Magic Lumi, so. Um, last thing is the... L'Oreal Instant Age Rewind Dark, no, not the Dark Circles one. Instant Age Rewind. And this is in the Willy Wonka Land. I, I like tilt everything. I can't get this right. Um, I've said that in the last three videos. I feel like I'm in Willy Wonka Land. Um, sick, this is in Brightener. This is like, a again, underneath the eyes, pink tone, pink. It doesn't look pink. But anyway, love this. Probably would repurchase, but I think I've got the neutralizer. I've probably got one in fair. I've got plenty right now. I don't need to purchase any more of these. That's so. it. That's my empties, and I hope you enjoy my videos. I'm not sure when I'm going to put this video up. I do think I have a couple more that are going up before this, but if you like, please give me the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and keep watching. Thanks.